Which is larger, the tenth rule of nine or the ninth rule of eight? Not easy. So what shall we do? Usually, root root. We hate roots. We always hate roots. Hmm. So we can raise the both sides to the power of ninety. Nine times ten. Then the problem will be solved. There won't be any rules anymore, so now let's do it. Raise it to the power of ninety. This as well. On the left side, we have nine to the power of nine. On the right side, we have eight to the power of Ten. So now we only have to compare these two numbers. By which method? Of course, division. Let nine to the power of nine be divided by eight to the power of ten. Then, simplify it further. We only have to compare this quotient with one. If it is smaller than one, this is smaller than this. If it is bigger than one, this is bigger than this. If it is equal to one, hmm, it's not possible. Impossible. Why? Because these two numbers cannot be equal. Usually, we want them to have the same base or the same exponent. However, the same base impossible. The same exponent, maybe it is possible. Why? Because we can write this a to the power of ten as a to the power of nine, then times eight. So here is eight to the power of Nine, then times eight, and here we have still nine to the power of nine. It can be written as nine to the power of nine over eight to the power of nine, then times one over eight. Nine nine, same exponent. Actually, we can take it out as nine over eight, then all to the power of nine, then times one over eight. Write it as one plus one over eight. So have we don't like this exponent nine at all? What shall we do? We know. That the limit of one plus one over n, all to the power of n, and n tends to infinity. The result is e. And e is approximately equal to two point seven one eight two eight one eight two eight four five ninety forty five. So have this guy. When n is positive, this function is more than likely increasing. That means for any positive number n, the result one plus one over n all to the power of n is smaller than three. So now I can write this guy as one plus one over eight all to the power of eight, then times one plus one over eight. Then times one over eight. For this section, we know eight is n, and eight is positive, so this guy is smaller than three. So it is smaller than three times one plus one over eight is nine over eight times one over eight. In the end. This guy is twenty-seven over sixty-four, and we know that twenty-seven over sixty-four is smaller than one. So what does it mean? It means that nine to the power of nine is smaller than eight to the power of ten. Oh, greater, greater. In the end, this one is greater. To get it. Give me a thumbs up for this wonderful question.
Click on these two videos and check them out. It's better the comparison. Which is greater, 50 to our 50 or 49 to our 51? Check out the video and learn how to solve. We see you next time.